Hi, this is Mike J. Welcome to the channel. What I want to talk about here today is I got my oil changed. I've got exactly 10,595 miles on the Mustang GT. And I only live like two miles from the dealership. So I brought the car home. Actually, I checked the fluid levels when I left the dealership to make sure everything was up to specs. And what's really weird is when the uh, service advisor came and talked to me and gone through a checklist of uh, what they've done and all that stuff, I asked him, uh, you did put eight quarts of oil in here, right? And he says, uh, we put seven quarts. You know, it really amazes me how a Ford dealership that service these cars every damn day do not know exactly how much oil goes in these cars. And, you know, it, it really ceased to amaze me why they do that. So they went out and rechecked it and put an extra quart in. And um, I checked it and it was up to the dot. Actually, it's a little bit too high, but it's right, pretty much right at the dot. Um, anyways, uh, like I said, I was gonna do a video after I had the oil change to see if there would be any ticks. The first oil change that I had had no ticks. And this is the second oil change. And like I said, I do live only two miles away from the dealership. And uh, the car has been running for a while. And uh, I'm gonna let you guys hear it. The fan is on, but as you can see, the motor is really quiet. No barbecue igniter tick. And there's also no typewriter tick. This sounds exactly the way it did before I left to go to the dealership. And uh, I specifically uh, asked them not to rotate these tires, even though that the oil special does come with rotating these tires. I didn't want the tires rotated because there's really not much wear from driving, you know, a little over 10,000 miles on a car. So I just left it alone. And um, I checked to make sure that they did change the oil filter. And uh, they did change it. Uh, a lot of times, you know, I just want to be sure and I put a little magic marker mark on the edge of the uh, oil filter to make sure that it is been changed. And as you can hear, this is what a normal 5.0 liter should sound like. And it is still back up with 5W20 Ford Motorcraft synthetic blend. And I had them top off my uh, coolant bottle because it was down to the minimum. And here in Arizona, I know this a lot of the cars that I've owned. The coolant doesn't leak, but it does evaporate a little bit. So I'm not sure if that's really a normal thing or not. But nevertheless, they refilled it. And they even filled my windshield washer fluid. And I hardly use that, so there must be a lot of evaporation here in Arizona. But anyways, uh, this is what my car sounds like after the oil change. And uh, I'll bring the camera down here to record some noises or sounds that are normal. So as you can hear, oh okay, the fan just shut off so there we go, we're gonna get a better sound for the motor. Now the fan is on. So there you have it, no ticks after the second oil change. And generally those ticks normally happen right when you change the oil, when the oil's clean. So it looks like I got a lucky one. So anyways, uh, that is, uh, my car after the first or actually the second oil change and everything is in tip-top shape but anyways uh, if you like this video please give me a big thumbs up please like subscribe comment tap notification bell for future videos and we'll see you in the next one thanks for watching take care